Yo, what's up everyone? Climbing this mountain right now. I think I'm three fourths of the way up. We got Mon Singh and his crew leading the way. You can see them like right up there, kinda. They're engineers and they're constructing a tourist path to the top of this mountain. I don't even think you can see it right now, but got Baloo joining me, the village dog. Say what's up, Baloo. Bradley's down there with a couple women. They're making their way up, a couple village women. And yeah, just wanted to provide a little recap, a little update of where I'm at. We're in day like 12 in Nepal, something like this. No, maybe even longer. I don't know, a couple weeks. And yeah, been enjoying the journey. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't have a lot to contribute, but I know that's not true. But yeah, just enjoying the views right now. Feeling a little bit tired. Got to sleep in today till six. That's new. We've been waking up at four, 4.30 every morning at Sajina's house. So it feels good to get some sleep. Did a lot of dancing last night with the villagers. That was interesting. <laughs> uh, we attracted quite the spotlight, Bradley and I, along with the village kids. We got them all participating in dance. And then slept. Now here I am, walking a mountain, just mountain walking. Just a mountain walker. <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to mom and dad and the brothers, Duncan and Philip. Love you guys. Shout out to the friends back home down in Texas. Been thinking of y'all. Hope all is well. And yeah, this has been good for me to be here. Been opening up and balancing, learning about these two ideas and how to implement them into my life, as well as just becoming more open and accepting of myself and other people. I think that's a big hindrance to my own growth and who I am as a human, is just wanting to be more and more accepting of other people, no matter how crazy their ideas and beliefs might seem. There goes Baloo. Um, yeah, just this idea of we think we, we think we can change people by convincing them of our own beliefs and our own perceptions. But really, if, you know, it comes down to, if we do want them to change, we first need to accept them. We need to accept where they're at, just like we need to accept where we're at in life before we can make changes. And what that means to me is like loving them unconditionally. And that love creates an environment for change. So if we want others to change, if we want ourselves to change, we have to love ourselves and them. And then maybe they'll change, maybe they won't, but it makes, a lot, makes things a hell of a lot easier when we're loving them and loving ourselves. That's my two cents. That's my 
that's what I have to contribute right now to the world. Check out these views real quick. Let's see if I can figure out how to flip this camera. Is this the button? I don't know how to flip it. Maybe I'll just do this. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll give y'all another glimpse of the top. Wishing you well. Cheers. I'm back. I didn't make it, but a couple hundred feet up, but <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to stop and share with you one more idea. Because we were pretty set on climbing this mountain today. And we were with the crew. We were with Monsing. We were with Sajina, Bradley, Amit, some village women. And the whole way up, we were like so focused on getting to the top of the mountain. And completely forgetting just being here, just being. So we stopped halfway up and sat, did a sit, drank some tea, ate some foods. And really realized like started hitting me that you know how much we can look forward to things the destination it's really cliche but when you experience it again and again it starts to sink in but we were really looking forward to the destination and just not at all being in the present moment and Sajina pointed this out to us <laughs> saying well where is that destination going to get us you know we're in this destination right now so just be be in that destination so yeah if you're looking forward to something don't forget what's going on right now Because you'd be missing a lot. Because I know I was missing a lot when I was climbing. This little mountain. This little mountain. Alright, well. <laughs> that didn't come out as profound as I thought it would. <laughs> but <laughs> I wanted to stop and share it with you. I hope it uh, helps you walk in the moment. All right, peace. All right, one more video. Going back to what I was first talking about, about accepting others and loving others, no matter their crazy beliefs or practices, is that um, like what's helping me to accept them is giving up my own practices first and my own beliefs first. That's where it starts. Like for the last few months before this trip, I've been eating one meal a day and like pretty much straight veg, tilting into vegan. And yeah, I'm just seeing how 
we can cling to these things and virtue signal through them. Wanting to be seen as someone who's does that sort of thing. Wanting to be perceived in a certain way. And it's through giving up those practices and just opening up, seeing both sides, all sides, all perspectives, looking into the, the opposing views, that one begins to start opening up and becoming more accepting. So I think the more dogmatic someone is in regards to their beliefs and their disciplines and practices, really the more closed they've become. And yeah, those things can be helpful sometimes. I guess it just depends if you're looking for incremental growth or like paradigm shifting growth if you're looking for a paradigm shift I think <laughs> starting to open up to the ideas that you're demonizing and judging and really trying them out for yourself <laughs> um, or at least talking to them learning more about why they believe these things Yeah, I'm just seeing how in myself, how silly a lot of my practices are and how I'm letting go of them and how much better I feel. And that's what's helping me love myself and love others more. Whereas before I might have been closed and judgmental. So we got Baloo coming in hot. Baloo! Hey, sweetie. He's been kind of following me today up this mountain. Keeps coming back for me when I stop. <laughs> but yeah, that's another message I had. I'm just gonna keep doing these messages. Let me know if you enjoy them. I wonder if they're useful. All right, until next time, peace. Y'all, I just made it to the top of this mountain. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. You can't see anything. Just clouds. There's all this, I don't know, I was, I was expecting like a peak. And it's funny, expectations, like just all this wide open field of grass. I think they're building a septic tank there for the tourists, like me. And like all this green space, you even got a building up here, straight up building, yo. Got Mans Mon Singh and his crew working hard. Go see what they're up to. There they are. See them? All right, figured I'd show you the top after all that. Peace.